Good morning, guys. It's me again, Nature. I am here to tell you about my every other day or every two day moisturizing routine for my hair. So this morning I got up. I always have my hair twisted in a twist pattern after I wash my hair, which I did four days ago, no, two days ago. So once my twist pattern is in, I don't take it out until it's time for me to wash my hair again, which is another three weeks maybe, because I don't wash my hair often because there's no need. My hair is not dirty. And then the um, leave-in conditioners that I put in, I don't put in too much. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't uh, get overwhelmed with uh, product. But anyway, so this is the pattern I use, right? I get up in the morning. I You can use whatever conditioner you like to use. So I have a leave-in conditioner that I use by Shea Moisture. I put it in my hair. I ma massage it in my hair all down my braids and make sure that I get it on the tips of my hair. And then I take my homemade uh, creams that I make. with. Uh, it's all organic, everything organic. I put that over the moisturizer to keep the moisturizer sealed in and I make sure that I do again focus on the tips of my hair so once I do that I moisturize everything I cover everything with my oil mixture then I put my scrunchie back on okay I don't do it tight I only go around twice and that's it and I leave it in a pony like this then I put this plastic cap on of course I brush it a hundred times like I told you guys before I brush my hair a hundred times I learned that a long time ago and I think my edges are trying to grow back a little bit. You know, I'm trying. They're trying. Yeah. They're trying. <laughs> so I put the plastic cap back on. So I left this on for about an hour. I'll leave it on for another 30 minutes until it's time for me to get in the shower. Well, I'll leave it in uh, while I'm in the shower. But after I take my um, shower and get my clothes on and stuff, then I take it off. So that'll be another probably another 30 minutes. So that's like a moisturizing conditioner to me because while you have this plastic cap on, it's sealing in all the moisture, okay? And the longer you leave it, the more moisturized your hair will be during the day. One thing I forgot to show you guys, when you have your hair moisturized and you know it's moisturized really good, you'll have a spring back. This is what I mean by a spring back. You pull it and it springs back. You see that? Okay, so it's up to here now, right? You pull it. You see the stretch? As long as you have a stretch. You see these braids here? Pull them. See? You see how much stretch it has? Okay, as long as it has that bounce, that spring back, you know your hair is nice and moisturized, okay? You don't want to have your hair here, and then when you pull it, it just goes like this. You don't want that. You want your hair to spring as much as possible so that you'll know it's moisturized through and through. Okay, now that's going to keep your hair strong, all right? Now, you don't have to use homemade leave-in creams like I do. You can get, uh, what is a sealant? There is olive oil. Olive oil is a sealant. I think grapeseed oil is a sealant. Any kind, oh, and black seed, what is it? Black castor oil. Jamaican black castor oil. Yes, you can put that on too. That's definitely a sealant. That will seal in the moisture, believe what I'm telling you. And um, like I said, you can leave it on for an hour or two. I do this routine maybe once a week or twice a week, depending on how dry my hair gets. So now if you wear a, a protective unit like I do, you better make sure you have a moisturizing routine because your hair is covered all day and it's really not breathing that, uh, that much, uh, especially if you wear a wig cap or a stocking cap under your unit, your hair is smothered, okay? So you have to make sure that when you get up in the morning, you moisturize your hair and you put some type of sealant in it to seal in the moisture. Okay, so in the winter, I use my units as hats, okay? I'll do this routine right here. I'll put my stocking cap on, then I'll put my unit on, okay? If you're the type that gets sick or you get head colds really quick, you might not want to do that. You might want to do your moisture routine at night before you go to bed and then put your stocking cap on and your scarf on or whatever, and um, do your moisturizing routine like that. Um, and just make sure you put something on your pillow. You don't want the oils and stuff getting on your pillow. But me, I do have asthma and I can get sick. 
um, if my hair gets uh, too much air on it while it's wet. So when I do my moisture routine, I make sure I do it first thing in the morning at about eight o'clock and I don't leave until like 11. So that's what eight, not that's three hours that I have for my hair to finally like dry down or whatever. So after that, when I put my stocking cap and my, my unit on, my hair is not getting, you know, the, the air is not going through my unit to get me a head cold or stuff, you know, and whatnot like that. So that's all I wanted to let you guys know is how to do your moisture routine every day. You don't have to take your twist out. Just moisturize your twist. I leave my twist in like three weeks and then I wash my hair after that. So the, these twists will stay in for another two and a half weeks. I'll moisturize them every day because I don't know, my hair just drinks water. Like my hair is so thirsty all the time. So I always have to put some type of moisture or spray some of my... um. The aloe vera water that I made. I put some aloe vera in my Nutribullet with some spring water and I, 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 I blend that up and I spray that in my hair. After I spray that in my hair, but you gotta keep it refrigerated because it will start smelling. <laughs> you they've gotta remember that's a plant, that's a fruit or whatever. The gel in the middle is like a fruit. So you gotta keep it moist uh, in the refrigerator. So I spray that in my hair and I put some oil in my hair and I put this on, I leave it for about an hour or two or whatever. And then I put my stocking cap on and my scarf and I tie it and I leave it for like I said, for the three hours until it's time for me to get ready for work. And then my hair is not so moist. And then, the, like I said, the scarf and the, and the unit will keep your hair from getting all the air on it. And if you think you will get sick, just put a hat on on top of your unit. All right? Until you get indoors. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions or comments, just leave it in the description box and I will respond to them. We can help each other during this uh walk in the natural hair community so our hair can be longer stronger and moisturized even longer that's how that's a song all right guys don't forget to pray hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i shoot another video and subscribe to my channel and i love you guys for watching take care now don't forget to pray bye